I've been a soil scientist studying soils, I guess, for around 30 years now. We have a, a region that's 2.4 million hectares, and a lot of that area is, is dedicated to maintaining our productivity, and that's a huge amount of, of our economy as well. The work that I do is, is focusing on making sure that we minimise the loss of soil by erosion. You also have to look after it and you can't overuse it, so we do all soil quality monitoring that looks at the impact of animals and our management on the soil resource as well. The Waikato region is a very large region. We've got about 1,100 kilometres of coastline. We've got a number of estuaries that are great receiving environments for <laughs> nutrients and, and sediment. And we also have around 40,000 kilometres of streams and rivers. For all of those, we've got a, a, a huge number of catchments and we can't go and monitor everywhere. So uh, we come up with a framework that allows us to utilise models. The models come from NIWA and Landcare Research. Based on our monitoring, we get the outputs of those and we combine them all together. The idea is to produce something that's still scientifically robust, but much more accessible to our staff and, and also to the community members on, on some of our committees that make decisions on the land. And so what we've got is a framework where you don't have to be the expert of everywhere in the region. You can quickly go and say, well, compared to over that part of the region, we're doing okay or we're, we've got more issues. Into the future, and even now, we're starting to, to use the framework to look at cost benefit, for example. So we can, we can look at what areas our models show where we've got erosion, and we can go and put trees on them or change the land cover in the model, and also use that to feedback and say, well, how much did that cost to do that job in that catchment? And how much does it cost in the catchment next door? One of the questions I, I always get asked is, where's the priority? Is it, is it bio, biodiversity enhancement? Is it soil conservation mitigation? Is it nutrient management? What the framework does, is it actually brings all of those together. And so we can start to see how they sit with each other. This framework gives us a mechanism to make those decisions and, and see it the whole picture, if you like.